Hi and welcome here. This is Sherry from Card Creme and um, I promised you a video showing a little bit on coloring skin. That was one of the things that I was asked the most about when I was at CHA in Anaheim and um, the colors I like to use, I like to use E50 um, for my skin base, E21 to shadow with and then I use R20 for the cheeks. So I'll show you how I do that. I start by laying in my base color, which is my E50, and just work smoothly and in circles, and just lay down your base color. I'm working with um, Memento ink on Nina cardstock, and get her arms too. The nice thing about coloring skin is that the lighter color will always push a, push a darker color out of the way. So here on the arms, I had a little bit of my red bleeding into my arms, but because I'm putting in this skin tone color, it will push the red out of the way. So once I've laid down kind of my base color, then I like to come in with shadowing and for shadowing you definitely have to keep in mind where the sun is shining and I'm having my sun come from from the corner up here so um, there would definitely be a shadow line from her hair that that's created here and on this side of her face would definitely be some more shadow and on the other side of her breath here and under her chin and on her arms, um, this part of her arm and the bottom of her hands, and here on this back side. And then she'd have kind of a straight shadow here from her skirt and a little bit from the bucket here. And that just kind of lays in your basis, basic shadowing. Then you come back with your original skin color, which in my case was E50. And I just kind of work that line that I had created with the shadow and push it a little closer to the edge. And a lighter color, like I said, will always push the darker color. And then once you've seen that blended, then you can just fill in the face as much or as little as you'd like. There's my phone. I'll just ignore that. Same thing on the legs. I try to not color all the way to the edge when I'm going back again with my light. See how I left a little bit of a space here? Because I want to leave the most amount of contrast in there. If, if I color the whole thing in again, I lose a little bit of my contrast. So I try to leave my highlights as highlighted by not coloring my highlighted spots. Okay, now once you've done that, you definitely need some cute little cheeks on this girl. This is one of the Pure Innocence girls from My Favorite Things. And how I achieve this is often just with the tip to tip technique. I will take the cap off of my R20 marker and I'll take the cap off of my E50 and I will just rub a little bit of this R20 onto my E50 marker and just dab in her cheek color. And then you've already got the blending pen to, to blend out that color because that's what's in your marker. Now if I wanted a little bit more, then I could come with my marker and just a tad where it would be the deepest color, add a little bit more of that R20. And then again with my E50, just smooth it out a bit. Just so she looks like she has some rosy cheeks. So that gives you just a basic idea of when I'm doing skin on, on especially these cute images. Um, it's basically a combo of three colors and um, 
you know, you can grab whatever uh, pink you have. It doesn't necessarily need to be R20, um, but something that you can just pull a little bit of pink off and dab in cheeks. Um, and I hope that helps you out when you're coloring skin. Thanks for watching.